think your incognito mode is actually private? <laughs> think again. I'm about to show you undeniable proof that Windows 11 is tracking every single website you visit, even when you're browsing in private mode. And this isn't some conspiracy theory. This is documented, verifiable, and happening on your computer right now. Let's dive in. The Promise of Incognito Mode First, let's talk about what incognito mode promises you. When you open a private browsing window, your browser tells you it won't save your history, cookies, or site data. And that's technically true for the browser. But here's what they don't tell you. Your browser isn't the only thing watching. Your operating system sees everything. And Windows 11? It's taking notes. While your browser forgets, Windows remembers. Let me show you the smoking gun. It's called Windows Activity History, and it's enabled by default on most Windows 11 installations. Here's how to see it yourself. Step 1. Open Windows Settings. Step 2. Go to Privacy and Security. Step 3. Click on Activity History. Notice that checkbox? Store my activity history on this device. For most of you watching, this is turned on, but here's where it gets worse. Let me show you what Windows is actually collecting. Navigate to your Microsoft account online, specifically the Activity History page. And look at this. These are websites I visited in incognito mode. Two hours ago, three days ago, last week. Windows logged them all, the timestamps, the URLs, even how long I spent on each page. Microsoft Edge? It's integrated directly into Windows 11 which means even your private browsing creates system-level logs that activity history captures. So how is this happening? Three main ways. Number one, timeline and activity history. Windows 11 logs application activity, including which websites you access through Microsoft Edge, regardless of browsing mode. This data can sync to your Microsoft account. Number two, smart screen and Windows Defender. Every URL you visit gets checked against Microsoft's threat database. That means every URL passes through Microsoft's servers, incognito or not. They claim it's anonymized, but your IP address and some identifying information is still sent. Number three, diagnostic data. Windows 11 collects required diagnostic data, which includes information about websites you visit and apps you use. Microsoft admits this in their privacy documentation, but most people never read it. And here's the kicker. Even if you turn off activity history, some of this data collection continues as part of Windows core functionality. It's not just Microsoft. Before you switch to Mac or Linux, understand this. It's not just Windows. Apple collects Safari browsing data. Google Chrome phones home constantly. Your ISP sees everything regardless of incognito mode. Your employer's network? They're watching too. Incognito mode was never designed to hide you from your operating system, your ISP, your employer, or the websites you visit. It only hides your activity from other people using the same computer. The real issue is that most people don't know this. They think incognito mode makes them invisible. It doesn't how to actually protect your privacy. So what can you actually do about this? Here are your options, ranked from easiest to most secure. Level one, basic protection disable activity history in Windows settings. Turn off timeline syncing. Use a non-Microsoft browser like Firefox or Brave. Set Windows diagnostic data to required only, though this still collects some data. Level 2. Moderate protection. Use a VPN to hide your traffic from your ISP and network administrators. Switch to privacy-focused browsers with built-in tracking protection. Disable Windows telemetry using third-party tools, but be careful with this. Use a local account instead of a Microsoft account. Level 3. Maximum protection. Use the Tor browser for truly anonymous browsing. Consider switching to a privacy-focused OS like Linux. Use virtual machines for sensitive browsing. Route all traffic through VPN plus Tor for maximum anonymity. 
Remember, each level trades convenience for privacy. Choose what matches your needs. The Bigger Picture This isn't about demonizing Microsoft. Every tech company does some version of this. It's about understanding that in 2025, true privacy requires active effort. It's not the default. The question you need to ask yourself is, what's my threat model? Are you hiding from other people on your computer? Incognito mode works fine. Your ISP or employer. You need a VPN, big tech companies. You need different tools entirely. Government surveillance? That requires extreme measures most people won't take. Be realistic about your privacy needs and choose your tools accordingly. So there you have it. Definitive proof that Windows 11 tracks your browsing even in incognito mode and what you can actually do about it. If this opened your eyes, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech privacy content. Drop a comment and let me know. Did you know Windows was tracking you like this? What privacy measures do you take? And remember, incognito mode isn't invisibility mode. Stay informed, stay protected, and I'll see you in the next video.